Well, the people of Port Stephens in particular have been asking for this information repeatedly. And as, as you, uh, you could see in my article, I, I mentioned some of the questions that they have been asking. And they're just not getting uh, that information. They're, they're not receiving any of that information at all. The, the, the major problem we have here is that, uh, to put it uh, frankly, if we blow our dough on renewables and it fails, then that's the end of it. Uh, our energy, energy security is gone. And I think there's another article out today uh, that looks at that issue of energy security as well. Um, so it, it, it's, I, I think it's a major problem. Uh, I also think that, again, it's ideological. Uh, we're talking about all these... People are talking about all the jobs that it's going to create, but how many of those are going to be local jobs? Where's the skills policy that's going to support these renewables? The, the other thing is I've really noticed too... Um, I think it's a good thing in some ways that we electrify transport and other things because uh, pollution is, is a thing and if we can reduce that, that's great. But obviously we have to have green energy first, which can include nuclear. Uh, but the second thing is, what are we going to do with these batteries? Are we going to have to send them back overseas to be refurbished or are we going to look at creating you know, a, a, an industry here where we can effectively... Um, recover the, the the minerals and the like from these batteries and have more of a sort of uh, closed our, our own sort of sustainable economy here. We're not hearing about any of these things. It's all just about let's just rush into it as quickly as possible and then hope for the best. And look, I, I asked Chris Bowen at the Sydney Institute a, a couple of months ago, what's your plan B? And he doesn't have one. Yes, yeah, so well, we all know that Labor's going to make all the mess, spend all the money, and then leave it to the coalition to fix it. So let's ignore Labor's plans because they don't have any. What about the coalition, Michael, as a final question here? We know that they've got some problems on this field because they have, in the past, supported the exact same policies that Bowen is going forward with. Some of them still support them to this day. They, have, uh, they haven't rejected offshore wind. They haven't really laid in behind nuclear power yet, although they are inching that way. I mean, Peter Dutton did come out and say the other day that wind farms are fast becoming a, a, they're a growing national scandal, but he didn't really offer any kind of apology or backtracking on the coalition's view to keep building more of them. It was more like a little political gotcha moment with nothing to follow it up. And I mean, he also said at the same time, we're all in favour of renewable energy, but not at any cost and not when you're destroying jobs and livelihoods. OK, Mr Dutton, but that's not what we're saying at all. We're not all behind wind energy and solar energy at all. A lot of us would prefer you to go and look at uh, nuclear power. So what's the coalition going to do? Because they're stuck in the exact same mess of Labor and they're not really finding a way out of it. it it's difficult in opposition to develop uh, a policy and advertise that too early because it's easy for governments to basically take your policy and run with it, especially if it proves popular.